Good morning, good morning everybody. I greet you in the precious name of Jesus. Welcome to our morning devotion this morning. Well, I've switched off Pastor Carl this morning because I'm having meetings for the rest of this week and might not be in Rustenburg, but I really trust God for an amazing time. Thank you for everybody that's watching. We are like 70 people with me right now on my device. So please get some guys and invite people so that we can pick up the numbers. I just want to start by saying good morning, I'm Dele and, and Aspinas, good, good, good to have you with us. And before I for, forget, um, it was Pastor Matthias' birthday yesterday, so happy birthday Pastor Matthias, we truly love you and appreciate you. And also Harry Rickard, uh, good morning my brother, God bless you, and uh, Manuela and the husband, uh, good morning, God bless you. It's awesome to have you with us and uh, Sister Tsakani, great to have you and Annette Sefinter, great to have you. Um, Basi, uh, uh, great to have you. My brother and boy, boy, great to have you. God bless you. Corey Smith, great to have you. Sand, uh, Sandra, good morning. Kachomotso, good morning, morning, morning. Uh, Pastor Drikas, morning. Donovan van der Merwe, good morning. And Anna Elizabeth, Stichling, good morning. Great to have you all with me this morning. I also see Nicoline Janssen van Rensburg. Good morning, morning, morning. God bless you all. Yes, and um, uh, good morning to Davi. He's here with me. He's the cameraman. But uh, God bless you all. And Brother Meraki, there you are. God bless you. Well, let's become aware of God's presence. Amen. Let's become aware of God's presence. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, we adore you, God. We worship you. Hallelujah. Reba sekit robo fikin. We enter your gates with thanksgiving our hearts, your courts of praise. Lord, we come for, for thankfulness and gratitude before you, Lord. We appreciate all the blessings of the Lord, Lord. We, we appreciate your word over our lives. We appreciate your promises. We appreciate, Lord, for what you are doing day by day. We appreciate for you all, Lord. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus for your faithfulness, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for, for uh, your absolute uh, willingness, Lord, and your, your, your patience and your perseverance, Lord, uh, your way of breaking through God. And Lord, and you just speak a word, Lord, and, and, and you release your light, you release your glory. But sometimes for the sake of a process and to reveal your honor, your glory through man, Lord, you are slow to anger. And I thank you, Lord, for, for, for that kindness, Lord, towards us. And it's that true kindness that leads us to true repentance. We give you praise, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you uphold our salvation lord you are the protector of our souls you are the lifter of our heads we give you all the praise and all the glory we thank you jesus thank you for your ability to bless thank you lord that you are the blesser lord thank you that you are the possessor of heaven and earth and i give you praise that all blessings is coming from you it's coming from above we give you praise in jesus mighty name thank you for every person that is watching this morning, God. I speak a blessing over them in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you direct each and every man's feet, Lord, that you direct uh, our footsteps, and I give you all the praise. Thank you, God. We give you the glory. I give you praise, oh Lord. We release your power upon your people, Lord. We release your word upon your people in the name of Jesus. I declare that your word will go out before your people, Father. I thank you, Lord, that in this season, you say you are going to open up supernatural doors, Lord. I give you praise. You are the creator of heaven and earth, and you are about to create opportunity for your people, Lord, opportunity to demonstrate your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray Holy Spirit will give us an ear to hear. Make our hearts sensitive for you, Lord. Let us not miss the opportunity. Give us eyes of faith, but we'll not see the threat, but see the opportunity. In the midst of darkness, in the midst of a storm, there will be opportunity. I see it in the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, 
be ready and get ready and prepare your heart for opportunity in Jesus mighty name prepare the opportunity by God himself just for you and your family in Jesus mighty name I thank you Lord for supernatural favor upon your people in Jesus name I give you praise oh God hallelujah like a song that is that that is saying great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness oh Lord great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness we worship you we adore you hallelujah great is your faithfulness oh God hallelujah great is your faithfulness great is your faithfulness hallelujah just start to worship him now worship him where we're at in Jesus mighty name hallelujah we come just as we are at the front of grace oh God we worship you, we adore you. Great is your faithfulness, O oh Lord. I pray that each and every person will become aware of your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Be, a, be, be, be aware of your faithfulness, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name. Great is your faithfulness, O oh Lord. Nothing is impossible with you. And our God is for us. He's fighting for us. You are our battle standard. You are our shield. You are our buckler. You go out before us like a fire, your word declares. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Great is your faithfulness. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper because great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Hallelujah. You protect us like the apple of your eye because great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Oh, your faithfulness will make your people great, O God. In the name of Jesus, our footsteps will drip with the anointing, with the fatness of your word. In the name of Jesus, reveal your power, God. In Jesus' mighty name, great is your faithfulness. We worship you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Glory, glorious Jesus. Glorious Jesus. Abba, Father. Hallelujah. 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 No one can love your people the way you love your people, Lord. Hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the healer of, of the weak, Lord. You are giving strength to the weak. You multiply strength for those who do not have any strength anymore, Lord. You are the strength of those who do not have any strength. I give you praise because you are the faithful God. You are a faithful God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Great is your faithfulness. We worship you. We worship you. Come and just worship him now. Let us come in agreement in the faithfulness of the Lord. In the presence of God, hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Well, Father, we pray for the specific prayers this morning. If you have any prayer requests, please send it to me so I can pray with you. We pray for your people. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. No, nothing is too hard for you, Lord. We can trust you with the details of our lives. We can trust you with the desires, people. Lord, we come of prayer and petition, thanksgiving. And we make our requests, our desires known to you. As we delight ourselves in you, you will give us the desires of our heart. I give you praise, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for blessing upon blessing and favor upon favor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, we pray that you demonstrate multiply your miracles lord lord we pray that you will use our hands and feet lord you'll use our voices as you glorify yourself right for our praise let our prayer turn into praise lord prophetic praise 
already we in advance. I give you praise for every healing. I give you praise for every person, Lord, that, that will see and experience your glory. I give you praise, O Lord, for your precious anointing that's always ready to destroy any yoke that is not from you. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your precious presence. Thank you, Lord, for your word that you'll release in our hearts. Thank you, Lord, that you'll bring order in the body of Christ. Thank you that you'll give us more wisdom, Lord. Lord, thank you for more wisdom day by day, moment by moment. Thank you that you'll give us the ability to read us revelations progressive. You add precept upon precept, add truth upon truth. You give the building blocks of your kingdom, Lord. Because you built your house, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. And this morning we establish it built upon the rock. And Lord, we know the storms might come, but our house will remain. It will, it will stand. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just where you're at, become intentional in your prayer. Just press it, press it. Pray the Holy Spirit. I just send in my heart, the Lord is about to do something for somebody, but those who will touch the hem of his garment through prayer this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You still have this expectation. You stir up us expectation for our hearts, Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory be unto the Lord. All glory be unto you, God. Hallelujah. Reba shake it to we cast our burdens upon you, Jesus. We cast every burden, every challenge, we give it unto you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let our hearts be after your heart, Lord. Even if some of us made a decision, if that decision was not accurate, come and strip that decision away, Lord. Come and cancel it in the name of Jesus. Let your people not make mistakes, Lord, but let us make life-altering decisions based on the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Lead us, O oh Father. Lead us through your divine spirit to green passes, restful waters. Lead us over way. Lead us on the path of righteousness for your name's sake in the name of Jesus. Enough of ourselves, enough of our own mistakes, Lord. But let us retake up the call of the purpose of God. Let it be accurate, Lord. Let us come over pure heart, a clear conscience and sincere faith in the name of Jesus. Let your people become intentional with your word, intentional with your calling, Lord. Let us not neglect the call of God, the high calling of Christ Jesus in us. Lord, anoint our eyes so that we can see what is the inheritance uh, of, of your call in the saints, Lord. Hallelujah. Your inheritance in the saints. The prepared glory within each and every heart. That, that treasure hidden in that earthen vessel, Lord. Anoint our eyes that we can see that our own children in Jesus' name. That we can see the prophetic purpose in Jesus' name. Those who wait upon the Lord shall be renewed in strength. We will mount up on wings like those of eagles. We will run and not get weary. We will run. I speak it over you. You will run and not get weary. You will walk and not fight. You will walk in the Spirit and not fight. You will fix your eyes upon Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak it over you. It's a supernatural gift of faith to be released right now in each and every heart. 
Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, you come and give strength to our inner man. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We are anchored. We are anchored of hope behind the veil. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we cannot be tossed around with any kind of teaching or wind, Lord. I give you praise in Jesus' name. We are anchored in the perfect will of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be all the glory and all the honor. I thank you for your people, Lord. I thank you for everyone that is part of this morning devotion, Lord. I thank you. That we can just hang in here and wait upon the Lord. I give you praise. I speak a blessing over each and every one of them. In the name of Jesus. I come against those headaches that is attacking Zander. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I call upon that the order of God and the discipline of the Holy Spirit will take hold of his life. In Jesus name, mighty name. Lord, I thank you. Do not slack your grip upon this man of God. But... Lord, you will increase your strength upon him in Jesus' mighty name. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for an increase of your power to, to be released. Lord, that you will experience. He will know. He will testify. He will overcome by the blood of Jesus and the word of his testimony, Lord. I thank you will reveal it unto him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I pray for Esther this morning. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We, are, we wait for a miracle. We wait for a miracle over a family, but over our sp spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. We rebuke for devour. Everyone that tried to steal, everything that tried to steal the joy, Lord. Any disease, anything, Lord. Any uncomfort, any form of uh, infirmity in Jesus mighty name we rebuke it I thank you for the glory of God to be released over her right now in Jesus almighty name hallelujah in Jesus almighty name hallelujah <laughs> my apologies right there hallelujah thank you Jesus we worship you we worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I just want to see more prayer requests. I'm asking for prayer, for baptism of fire for me, for Benny and our family, salvation. Please, Pastor. I'm in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray songs 119. From verse 130 to verse 133. 130 declares the entrance and the unfolding of his word will shine his glory, will shine his light. 133 say, Lord, please direct my footsteps according to your order. So the chaos of this world, the iniquity, the impact of our wrongdoings, the impact of inaccuracies will not have dominion over me. I come against anything that tried to block the fire, the, the baptism of fire in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, for accuracy in the life of Alma. I thank you in the name of Jesus that the covenant that you have with her, Lord, you want to prove and establish that covenant and manifest it, the faithfulness of that covenant in every area of your life. And I thank you that the baptism of the Holy Spirit is a portion, Lord. I release the fire of God over that family. I release the fire of God over Alma. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, you touch her from the top of her to the soles of her feet. And Lord, I thank you that this fire come through repentance. Hallelujah. Listen to me, people. The fire of God will come through a heart of repentance. Hallelujah. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
you are near of those who have a, a contrite heart, a broken spirit. Blessed are those who are pure, poor of spirit. Uh, uh, self-emptied people, Lord, but ready to be filled with your glory. Ready to be filled with you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Poor of spirit means that it doesn't mean you have a lack of revelation. Poor of spirit means you, you are poor in in, 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 in your flesh and poor in, 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 in your own power and poor in your own ability and to rely on your own understanding and you, you are absolute focus on God's word and if God's word say left you, you say left if it say right you say right if it, if it say stop you stop it's absolute to be absorbed with the will of God hallelujah in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We give you the glory. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. I want to pray for Pastor Francho Martins. Good morning, Pastor. Great to have you this morning. May God bless you, my brother. You and your business, your family. We bless your uh, ministry. In the name of the Lord. And no mountain is too high, no challenge is too big. I thank you for the mighty hand of Jesus Christ upon your life. And the anointing that will increase day by day and moment by moment. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, a ministry part of us, uh, gospel fire mission. Uh, from Uganda. God bless you, my brother. Speak a blessing over your ministry. Father, we pray for all ministries that is represented on this Facebook Live this morning. I give you praise that the ministry of the Holy Spirit will, will flood every heart in Jesus' mighty name. And I thank you, Lord, that you'll take each and every ministry to a new dimension. But Lord, I pray for the men and women of God that will make us more sensitive to you that will be willing to surrender. And therefore, we give our ministries back unto you in Jesus' mighty name. We give you the glory, God. In Jesus' almighty name. In Jesus' almighty name. Rebo Sekele. Hallelujah. Brother Gary Cricket say, please keep praying for businesses. And today, especially for the business supplying food for people. Hallelujah. Products under pressure. A lot of smaller businesses just cannot afford to stay open. Especially during these load shedding times. Cost is doing business in rent and electricity is skyrocketing. People, you must know that God is your provider. Do not look to the left or the right. But stay with the principles of the kingdom. God has entrusted us with the keys of the kingdom. You need to use those keys. Apply those keys to unlock every door. Hallelujah. And I tell you, once God opened up that door, no one can shut that door. I want you to tell you in Genesis 26, Isaac sowed in the midst of famine. In the midst of famine, and he got a hundredfold harvest in the name of Jesus. When you ever want to hear when it's the time to sow, it's a time when the threats is coming your way. I tell you now, it's time to sow with tears, even the word of God. Amen. If you can't stand for the word of God, you will fall for anything else. Uh, but it's time to sow. Hallelujah. Get your seed in the soil. In the name of Jesus. The Bible declares in 1 Chronicles 29 verse 12. And God gave me the scripture this week. His riches and honor come from you alone, O oh God. This is the prayer. Amen. It says, riches and honor come from you alone, O oh God. For you rule over everything. Power and might 
are in your hand. It is at your discretion that the people are my grow. O oh God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I and who people that we would give anything to you? We have has come from you and we give you only what we have already, but you have already given, we have already, but you have already given to us. O oh Lord our God, even these materials that we have gathered, that's to build the temple for Solomon. He says, this, to build a temple, to honor your holy name, it comes from you. It all belongs to you. Hallelujah. I want you to say with me, it all belongs to you, O oh God. It all belongs to you. By the of the Lord says, do not rob me. Do not rob me from the opportunity to bless you. Amen. <laughs> Do not rob me. Everything is from you, God. Everything. That's why Malachi said, bring the tithe, the tithe, not a tithe, the tithe. Malachi 3 verse 10, bring the tithe to the storehouse so there might be food in my house. Hallelujah. Why? Because everything is from you, Lord. And what we give unto you, it's anyway from you too. Says, so he says, Malachi 3 verse 8, he says, Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what way we have robbed your God? And now I'm talking even to myself. You see, robbery is when you take something from a person that belongs to him, even while he's awake and watching. Theft is we go in the night, you sneak in, you take it when somebody, no, somebody's not watching. It's, so God is saying, hey, while I'm watching, and what I've entrusted to you, we, we go to God, we say, Lord, everything is from you, but that portion that you have said, give it back to me, so that I can multiply it on your behalf. I will not entrust you with that. I will take it for myself too. And that's a serious thing. You know, the other day, I, I went through the drive through to buy a little Ronaldo ice cream. And I, 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 I just want to, to, to have one, you know, one, one, one little scoop of that ice cream. I've asked him, listen, boy, give me a scoop of that ice cream. And he just said to me in that little baby voice, no, it's mine. And I was thinking to myself, the whole thing is coming from me. I mean, it's, it's even my car, my, my, my gas, my petrol, <laughs> my kindness, my money. And now... This little fellow is telling me, no ways, this whole ice cream is mine. You see, that's a little sort of survival mode. Because he do not understand yet who is this father figure in his life. And that little scoop will really do something in my heart, even that I can't wait for the next time to give, buy him a bigger ice cream. Hallelujah. And maybe next time he can give me two scoops, but instead but for a bigger one. And uh, many times we, we, we really limit God. And I want to warn you, don't get distracted with a spirit of lack and fall and stumble into a survival mode. And the moment we get a survival, we do not honor the principles of a kingdom and the keys of a kingdom, but the amount of money. Let me tell you, the poor widow in our church that only earns a thousand rand, she's tithing a hundred rand. The weight of the glory in that seed is as much as a man who earns a million rand and he needs to tithe a hundred thousand. Hallelujah. Amen. The weight of glory. That's why God is a God of a tithe. Tenth means, means redemption. Amen. Number ten, it's redemption. And that's why there were 10 plagues. I mean, after the 10th plague, Israel were released from Egypt. And that's why there was 10 coins. The one coin was gone. And the, the, the widow went to seek for that one tenth. The tithe was gone. Uh, you see, and it, the tithe, the tenth represent the first. And the Bible says, the first is holy, the rest is holy. And, and where is this principle coming from? 
it's coming from from a God from Melchizedek. God revealed Himself from Melchizedek as Christ unto Abraham. Melchizedek is a king of righteousness and the priest of a, the, the priest of righteousness and the king of peace. Amen. So it's a kingly priestly anointing upon Melchizedek. Priestly anointing governs the spiritual and prophetic realm. Kingly anointing governs the physical realm. And Abraham knew it's this, this blessing of God that make of reach. As we know it. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. And now uh, 8 verse 18 says, Remember it's the Lord that gives you power to obtain wealth. And uh, where, where is this revelation coming from? Abraham realized it's God's power that gave him power over the kings and over Leon and Omar. That's why Abraham said, I will give a tenth of everything unto God. Because Abraham knew the principle of the first. Hallelujah. What was the tenth plate? What was the tenth plate? The, the, it was the death of the firstborn. Because God says, you try to touch my firstborn, I will touch your firstborn. You see, the first belongs to him. The first fruits belongs to God. So there he said, in, at the tenth plague, see the tithe of the first fruit, and you touch my firstborn, Israel, I'll touch you, your firstborn. Because if the first is cursed, the rest is cursed. But if the first is declared holy, the rest is holy. I want you to get this revelation. This is a powerful thing this morning. Uh, your past is not yet to play because I see how people are stumbling under the law. Let me tell you something. Don't they get distracted. This Abrahamic secret was given unto Abraham 430 years before the law. And go and read Galatians chapter 3, verse 16, 17, 18. The Bible declares God gave a promise unto Abraham 430 years before the law. And no promise can be given from the law. Uh, but the law cannot cancel out any promise. The Bible says that the law, let me read it to you. Verse 16, Galatians 3 verse 16. God gave a promise to Abraham as his child. This is a New Living Translation. And notice that the scripture doesn't say to his children. Why? Because the promise is about Christ, the firstborn of God. <laughs> Amen. The first that will declare holiness over the rest. It says, as if it means many, uh, many descendants. Rather, it says, to his child. And that, of course, means Christ. Verse 17. For it, wa it, it is what I am trying to say. The agreement God made with Abram could not be cancelled 430 years later when God gave the law to Moses. God would be breaking His promise. A, the promise cannot come from the law and the law cannot cancel out the promise. For the inheritance could be received by keeping... It says, even inheritance could be, could be received by keeping the law, then it would not be a result of accepting God's promises. It says, if any inheritance... Any promise of even the tithe under the time of the law, if the, if, the, if the release of a favor upon the principles could come from the law, then we would nullify the promise. Amen. Let me read it again. Then it would not be a result of accepting God's promises. Faith is coming accepting God's promises. Abraham believed God because God promised Abraham. God did not legislate. I mean, he didn't make it a law. He made it an Abrahamic secret unto Abraham. And Abraham believed God. And because of that promise, 430 years before the law, God established an Abrahamic key of a kingdom. Hallelujah. To bless his people. He says, and God generously gave it to Abraham as a promise. Why then was the law given? It was given alongside the promise. 
to show the people their sins. God never gave a law to bless God's people. God gave a law alongside the promise. 430 years of promise, including the promise of a tithe and the Abrahamic secret, that the blesser of heaven and earth will bless us, the lesser is blessed by the greater. That cannot be nullified 430 years later of the law. But the law was given to show the people their sins and not to bless them. <laughs> oh, this is powerful. Says when would it be? Uh, says when? Uh, why then was the law given? It was given alongside the promise to show the people their sins. But the law was designed. Who designed it? God. But the law was designed to last only until the coming of a child who was promised. So the law was given by God alongside the promise, just designed for that time. Until the true seed, Christ Jesus, has appeared. Amen. That's why Romans 10 verse 3 declares, When Christ came, it was the end of the law. Because grace and truth was revealed through Jesus Christ. And remember now, uh, now Malachi, uh, Hebrews chapter 7 declares, uh, in verse 22, Jesus became high priest according to this order of Melchizedek. Order means the way how God is doing things. In other words, this priestly, kingly anointing upon Melchizedek, that blessing was released upon Abraham. And God said, now in Christ Jesus, that blessing that was released upon Abraham will be released over the seed of Abraham. Galatians 3, 29 declares, if you are in Christ, you are the seed of Abraham. And according to this promise, you are an heir. Hallelujah. But you must hang into the Abrahamic secret way. Hallelujah. The tithe. That's why it was a fattened calf. The fattened calf. Not any fattened calf. The fattened calf. Why the? Because the belongs to Him. Hallelujah. It belongs to Him. And it's a sign of our trust in Him. In the name of Jesus. I see so many people try to prove that tithings and offerings... It's, uh, it's Old Testament. I tell you now, if it's, it's Old Testament, kick out all the worship out of church because the first adoration of worship does not come under the law and be sacrifices. It's coming from God when He made man in His likeness and unto His image. And He bowed down and He adored the works of His hands. He barak, He barak the works of His hands. That is, means to bow down and to adore. God was so impressed with His works of His hands. And that was an act of impartation. Even the worship that we have to give unto God, it's coming from God. God has imparted worship into man. He gave us the ability to glorify Him. Hallelujah. To give Him the glory. He gave us that ability. It's coming from Him. Now, even that blessing was instituted in the law. Now, we can't say yeah, it's, it's legalistic to worship God because it was given before the law. The same with the Abrahamic secret, the blessing of promise unto Abraham. And that was a key of a kingdom given unto Abraham to release the glory. Therefore, you need to, to teach these things from Hebrews chapter 7. Actually, Hebrews chapter 6 from verse 10 to verse 20 and from Hebrews chapter 7 from verse 1 to verse 22 of the rest. Jesus was not out of a Levitical order. Jesus is the high priest of a new priestly order, but according to the, 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 the order of Melchizedek, Jesus was born as, 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 uh, as from the tribe of, of Judah. He was not born from the, from, from the tribe of Levi. Because the first priestly order was that adequate, that High priestly order was not good enough to release a promise. But Jesus, the seed of Abraham, born from the tribe of Judah, which means praise, hallelujah. He came as the first fruit. And if the first is ready, he's the first born among the many. He's the first one to be sowed for his death, burial, and resurrection. God gave his tithe, hallelujah, hallelujah, to a harvest. He was the first fruit of many in the name of Jesus to harvest us. So if, 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 this, if this principle is legalistic and under the law, then we need to cancel out Christ Jesus himself. And the priestly order, 
um, Malachi 7 verse 22 declares that he stands surety for this promise according to the order of the Archisedek. In other words, Jesus stands surety. You know when I stand surety for you? I sign surety on your behalf with a bank. It means I, I will become the proof, amen, that I will complete the purchase. I will make sure I stand in with my life. I'm willing to give up everything, to lose everything, if what I'm saying not true, if I'm not faithful enough. That is, that is what it means to stand surety. In fact, the Bible does say, when it comes to business, do not stand surety. You see? But Jesus stands surety for these promises. He stands surety for our salvation. In the name of Jesus. I know I do not want to bombard you with all these things, but there's a lot of teachings going around. And I tell you now, it's not from God. People is busy to miss the mark big time. You stay with the promises of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Malachi declared, test me in verse, if I will not open up heaven and command a blessing which you will not contain. What blessing, Pastor? More cars and money and uh, all these things. Now it's much more than money. It is the power of God, the increase of that anointing upon the church, mantles of wealth, mantles of wealth. There's, a man, there's mantles there for the entire church. Mantles of wealth ready to obtain the blessing. Hallelujah. Why? Because this is the end time prophecy. The wealth of the wicked is laid out for the just. Isaiah 60 verse 5 says that the, the wealth of the, of, of, of the world will come over to you, Zion. Haggai chapter 2 from verse 9 declares, the, the, he says, all the silver and gold belongs to me, says the Lord. He says, and the wealth of the nations will come to you. He says, and the glory of this house will be greater than the latter glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why part of the worship of the wise men, the caravan of wise men, when they went to Jesus Christ at the place of his birth, they brought uh, uh, myrrh, frankincense, and gold as gifts, and the gifts make room for them. Because to fulfill the promises that the wealth of this world will come to you, come to the light. And the same anointing, that's why through His blood, Revelation 5 verse 10, for His blood He made us kings and priests. Where did Jesus got that blessing from? To make us kings and priests. From the order of Melchizedek. He's the king of peace. Hallelujah. And the priest of righteousness. Melchizedek. King and priest. Hallelujah. And that anointing is resting upon you. Therefore, even Jacob at Bethel, when he saw the order of Melchizedek in operation, angels ascended and descended upon the Son of Man. The first thing he said, now I also give a tithe of everything. Because he saw the keys of a kingdom. He saw the, king, he saw the keys to obtain wealth in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. He says, yeah, Pastor, you are speaking about money. No, I'm speaking about your financial future. I'm speaking about God's financial plan for you. I'm speaking about the keys of a kingdom that you need to use to bind and lose. I speak about things that cause people to stumble because the Bible declares my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. And that is the greatest taste of your heart. Because where your treasure is your 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 heart will be. You know, I'm, uh, uh, I have a great uh, investor and a, what do you call it, people are just making investments on your behalf and we trust those people. Every now and then you'll give him a, a long sum money and he says, okay, uh, multiply it, invest it on my behalf. But I tell you, there's no great, greater investor than Jesus Christ himself. This, our seed is maybe in our hands, but let me tell you, the investment potential of that seed is in the hands of Jesus. You come with your five loaves and you two fishes. In spite of your age, if Jesus could do it for a small boy, he can do it for you. 
you release it unto my hands, you give it into the hands of Jesus. The moment it is in His hands, His hand upon your life, upon your finances, will destroy all limitations that is not from God. I release over you a supernatural work of the Holy Spirit today. I release over you uh, a wealth transfer in Jesus' name. Uh, opportunity in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I'm not saying you tithe today and tomorrow you are a rich man. No, 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 no. You will be rich in the revelation. Rich in the anointing, in the power. You will realize you are blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies. What is that? All spiritual blessings. That kingly, priestly anointing upon you. Whatsoever you bind, it will be bound upon earth. Whatsoever you loose, it will be loosed upon earth. Why? Because you have a key of a kingdom. Hallelujah. As a priest, you hear his voice and you execute righteousness. Hallelujah. You govern the prophetic realm. You speak it and God will establish it. But with a kingly realm, God will direct your footsteps and give you the wisdom to make the right decisions. Hallelujah. God will give you the, the opportunity and the strength of the power. Hallelujah. To obtain wealth in Jesus' mighty name. To be successful in all your ways. He will give you the opportunity for His anointing to meditate His words. That His word will stay in your heart. To keep you and fix your eyes upon Jesus and fix it be there. Keep it fixed there. And He will, he will bring forth and you will be successful in all your ways. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you touch will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I know people at this moment living in shacks. They are blessed. Hallelujah. Your circumstances cannot dictate who you are. You are blessed. It's not what you have in your garage, your bank accounts, what's resting upon your life. You just need to discover the keys of a kingdom and stick to it. Hallelujah. And flow with the Holy Spirit and, and seize and maximize every opportunity. Hallelujah. And do not be afraid. Jesus said, do business until I come. That's for all, or that's for, that is when my business will stop, when Jesus comes. My business will stop when Jesus comes, when we return of the Lord. When Jesus comes, my business will end. Because Jesus has said, do business until I come. Hallelujah. In spite of the economy, God is not surprised of the war in Ukraine. God is not surprised with the rand dollar. God is not surprised with all the economic, economical pressures that there is. In fact, the Bible says, build upon the rock. The Bible says the, 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 the unshakable kingdoms will fall and it will stumble. But it's only the unshakable kingdom of God that will stand in Jesus' name. God bless Jacob in the midst of his labor. Hallelujah. God will bless you in the midst of any political manipulation. I speak it over you in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you for your people. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for this revelation. Release it over your people. And Lord, I pray that you'll give him a grace to share it with friends so that they will know the truth and the truth will set them free. In Jesus' almighty name. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Remember, we love you guys. We love you. And hang in for this week. Amen. Let us pray together. Those who pray together,